In this video, I'll show you how to expand trinomials using the binomial theorem. The question reads, use the binomial theorem to expand the expression 1 plus 2x minus x squared all raised to the power of 3. To do this question, we'll need to assign a new variable to two of the terms within the trinomial. So I'll set this part equal to b. This gives me bracket 1 plus b raised to the power of 3. If you expand this properly, you should end up with 1 plus 3b plus 3b squared plus b to the power of 3. Now that you've expanded this using the binomial theorem, you can replace back the b's with what you set them to. So this becomes 1 plus 3 bracket 2x minus x squared plus 3 bracket 2x minus x squared to the power of 2 plus 2x minus x squared to the power of 3. Now you have to expand each of these terms, and this is where it gets complicated. This is easy to expand. We have a monomial times a binomial. This one is also easy to expand because we have two binomials multiplied to three, but this one, you have to use the binomial theorem again. So let's do the easy ones first. We have one plus six x minus three x squared, and if you make a mistake early on, it will be really hard to spot afterwards. So do this carefully. We've just expanded this, now we have to expand this. We have three bracket two x minus x squared, two x minus x squared. Three times two x is six x minus three x squared. We just multiplied these two. Now we need to multiply them to two x minus x squared. Six x times two x is 12 x squared. That times that gives us negative 6x to the power of 3. That times that is negative 6x to the power of 3. So these two can be combined. This times this gives us positive x to the power of 4 with the coefficient 3. So I'll replace these terms into here and combining those. Lastly, we have to use the binomial theorem for this. So I'll assign this as my a and my b will be assigned as negative x squared. All right, let's do this carefully. a to the power of n is 2 to the power of 3 and x to the power of 3. So we have plus 8x to the power of 3. That covers my first term. My next term is defined right here where I have 3 times 2x to the power of 2 times b. Okay, 3 times 4x to the power of 2, negative x to the power of 2, 3 times 4 is 12, times negative 1 is negative 12, x to the power of 4. So that's my next term, negative 12x to the power of 4. That wasn't so bad. Let's move on to this term. We have 3 times 3 minus 1, 2 factorial, which is 2, times 2x to the power of 1 times b to the power of 2. So this to the power of 2 will give us x to the power of 4. Let's clean this up a little bit. 3 times 2 is 6 divided by 2 factorial is 3. 3 times 2 is 6, x to the power of 5. That's our next term, plus x to the power of 5. And finally, for our last term, we have b to the power of n. So this to the power of 3 will give us negative 1, x to the power of 6. Now all we have to do is collect like terms. This one is alike with this and nothing else. This one is alike with this. These two are alike and everything else is different. 
leaving us with 1 plus 6x plus 9x squared minus 4x to the power of 3 minus 9x to the power of 4 plus 6x to the power of 5 minus x to the power of 6. This represents the final expanded version of the following expression. And there you have it. That is how to expand trinomials using the binomial theorem.